What is a hidden gem in terms of anime? Well, a hidden gem in broad terms is a show that is good, surprisingly good, but for some reason has been lost to the depths of the community's zeitgeist and is rarely discussed anymore, if at all. A hidden gem is a series that doesn't quite fit with the mainstream audience, hence hidden, but it still has a level of quality quite above average for some people who can get engrossed with its narrative and characters, hence gem. Trying to find and discuss hidden gems of anime has always been a slightly difficult proposition though, because what you discuss and how changes depending on your audience. The audience matters because how long they've been an anime fan or what fandoms they traverse will affect what they talk about or what they see discussed regularly. A fan who only started watching anime this year probably hasn't watched all that much beyond what's currently airing and perhaps some choice selections that have been recommended to them. Whereas someone who's been watching anime for like over a decade or more might know of and have watched countless anime across various genres. It's much harder to find something that's hidden for someone who's been around the block a few times. Let me give you an example. I could say that a very good anime like Revolutionary Girl Utena is a hidden gem only to have shoujo fans who have been around since the 90s claim that I must be insane to call such a popular series directed by the great Kunihiko Ikuhara anything even close to hidden. So since Utena has a dedicated fan base ever since its airing, I'd have better luck trying to tout Ikuhara's other anime like Penguin Drum or even the recent Sarazanmai as more of a hidden gem. In this case, even though I'm willing to bet the anime community at large has not watched Utena, those who have and those who spend time in the circles where it's popular consider it required watching and have for decades. So it's not really a hidden gem in that respect. Here's another example. A little while ago, there was an article on CBR that took a, a bit of flack because the headline insinuated that one of the more well-known horror anime, Higurashi no Naku Koro Ni, was something people have never heard of. I myself even took a jab at the headline. The article itself however, was quite a bit different than what the headline portrayed. It talks about how, while the show was indeed popular in the late 2000s, shortly after the series aired, its notoriety in the zeitgeist has waned in the decade since. Even some of the more dedicated fans of the series have never continued with it past its second season, and eventually, with time, it has fallen out of favor. The franchise even had a recent announcement of a new project being made, which was met with, as the writer puts it, little fanfare. They aren't necessarily wrong either. It's quite possible that there's a bunch of anime fans from 2006 that don't watch anime anymore, and perhaps there's been little reason for new fans to go back and watch the series. Also, while it is true that most discussions around horror anime will eventually mention Higurashi at some point, if you're never involved in social circles that discuss horror anime, then it's highly possible for the series to have never come to your attention. Does that make it qualify for a hidden gem though? Quite possibly. So I wanted to come up with my own general definition for the term hidden gem. I wanted a way to define the term that while not probably universal, because that's next to impossible, can make it easier to understand. I wanted a way so that even if you don't agree personally that a show is either hidden or a gem, that you might be able to see why others would. So I set to work. Eventually I came up with three criteria, two hard qualifications and a third minor one to get to the bottom of whether or not a show can be a hidden gem or not. In order to determine a hidden gem, the first of the three things that I am going to be looking for is quality. Can you even call it a gem? This part should almost be self-explanatory. If a show isn't very good, then that immediately points to why people don't talk about it anymore. Unless you're specifically looking for examples of bad anime to give better context to the good, then why would you waste your time with it? If a show isn't good, or at the very least entertaining, then honestly, what's the point? The second criteria is popularity. You can't really call a show hidden if it has a massive fan base. It can have a dedicated, fan base, to be sure. You can have a group of people that love it to pieces and so forth. After all, it is still a gem. But if the community at large knows about it and has opinions on it, it can't very well be defined as hidden. This is without a doubt the most subjective criteria, as determining any show's relative popularity is difficult to do. For example, I don't see many people in my own personal circles discussing the anime Black Clover. 
almost at all. If I were to judge it based solely on the experience I have with it and how often it crosses my own path, then I'd say that it's not watched all that much. But obviously, that assumption would be incorrect. Black Clover has been a staple at the top of Crunchyroll's most popular anime tab for ages. It's been one of the more popular shonen anime of this current age. So Black Clover is not hidden. My Hero Academia isn't hidden and Demon Slayer is not hidden. However, and this is important, if the popularity for these shows never wanes over time, then something that was once popular could potentially become hidden a few years from now. This leads me to my third criteria that I'm using to clarify my definition. Time. A common trend in the anime community since about the early 2010s or so is that many shows are talked about while they are relevant, while they are airing, but within roughly a year after that, most shows fall out of favor as new series come out. Anime like Death Parade and Erased were popular and discussed frequently when they were new, but have been mentioned far less since. People move on to more recent shows, leaving little room for the older ones to come back into the discussion. But that doesn't mean that shows can never leave this almost friend-zoned state within the community. It takes a rare kind of show to bypass this stigma, and I've noticed another trend with those that do. First, the habit of dumping good shows in favor of the newly airing ones only became a thing with the community at large around 2012 or 2013. But many of the massively popular shows from before that time still have a place in regular discussion. Shows like Death Note and Full Metal Alchemist are so big that they bypass the trend of being forgotten and have become such a standard that they persist even over a decade later. But as such cannot be considered a hidden gem. For a show after 2013 to achieve the same notoriety, they either need to be so exemplary that few shows have been able to replicate their splendor, or they need to have copycats that try to recreate what they did. There are also some shows that become popular enough to warrant a continual franchise, so that even if the initial seasons fall out of favor at the beginning, with every new season, it further cements itself into the community's collective consciousness. See Attack on Titan and Sword Art Online. But to achieve such a feat is rare, and in most cases, unlikely, leaving most shows to languish in temporary obscurity until they are referenced in regards to something new. A new trigger anime, for example, might have people talking about Kill la Kill again. Though, personally, I feel like it's quite possible that Kill la Kill might be bypassed and instead any new trigger series will be continually compared to Goren Lagan. But does this mean that Kill la Kill could eventually become a hidden gem? I personally doubt it, considering it's notoriety. But eventually, with enough time, anything is possible. Another benefit of time is the lack of what the community has come to call recency bias. It's easy to call a show amazing when it is fresh and new, but it's a lot harder to still call that show good after a few years. You might be excited in the moment about a series and how it makes you feel, only to not really be all that impressed by it in retrospect. Megalobox was a series like that for me. When it aired, I had nothing but praise for it. But heck, even while it was airing, my enthusiasm for it started to drop heavily until now when I'm at a point where I'd find it hard to recommend it to most people. Now, the next question becomes, how much time is necessary? I ran a convention panel a number of times on anime gems specifically, and on the topic of time, I used to say that if a show was over 10 years old, then it had a much higher likelihood of being unknown to newer fans of anime. There are exceptions, of course. I'm sure I can find fantastic anime only three to five years old, but 10 years, a full decade, has always been a nice round number to work with. So where does this leave? Well, we've gone over roughly what a hidden gem is and the problem with trying to define it. Then we went over my own personal benchmark for whether a show qualifies to be called a hidden gem. But I suppose that the last question to ask is why? Why does it matter if I find a hidden gem or not? Well, a hidden gem has a particular kind of promise to it. Calling something a hidden gem gives it a bit more gravitas than just saying, yeah, here's this good show from 2007 or something. Because in doing videos on YouTube over the past number of years, I keep seeing more and more anime fall by the wayside as everyone's attention is finite. Which is fine. With so many new shows out every season and with four seasons every year, our bandwidth for being able to watch a lot of shows as they air 
is limited. But personally, I don't want those limitations to stop people from being able to experience those great shows. This has left me with a bit of conundrum as a YouTuber and as an anime fan, because I want to be able to highlight all their shows, while at the same time not having to worry about what might be popular at any given moment. I wanted a metric for what a hidden gem is, because I want to be able to find hidden gems. I want to go diving for older anime and hoist up some of my favorites from years past that are truly exemplary, without having to worry about what's current or what's good for views. So I should probably name this video something clickbaity like how to destroy your anime YouTube channel in five steps or less, because that's honestly what it feels like to a point. But, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. I have been somewhat doing it already. I've been talking about non-current shows for years, and even recently I've made videos on anime like Chihai Furu and Sword of the Stranger, and while their views have been very low comparatively, I've had more people coming out of the woodwork to tell me how much they appreciated those videos or enjoyed those animes even more than the current stuff. So I have to continue, and I believe that this is the metric I will continue to use. It won't be every video, or even the next video I release, probably. But expect to see a lot more videos on this channel about hidden gems, about anime that I feel are must-watches, because for some of them, well, no one else is going to talk about them, so I might as well be the one to give them the attention that they deserve. And that about covers everything that I wanted to get out in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we will be having some more uh, must watch animes or animes of the hidden gem variety in the near future. I'm not entirely sure when, but soon. I have plans. Oh, yes. Much plans. As usual, a very special thank you to our patrons who allow me to be able to do what I do. Specifically, things like this, where I can do what I would like to do and I don't have to worry as much about the algorithm. Patreon really does help in that regard. Look out for more hidden gems and other anime-related content upcoming. And until then, ladies, gentlemen, and others, watch more anime and stay frosty.